G'day guys and welcome to Medieval Mayhem. On this channel you'll find lots of videos into the whole medieval period. You'll find reviews into other people's gear, you'll find crafting videos into costuming, you'll find DIY videos into furniture, and you'll find analysis into historical events, who are the main characters and why do things turn out the way that they did. So if medieval is your thing, you might want to consider subscribing. Today's video we're going to have a look at the Fabry Arming Sword. Like a lot of medieval reenactors, when I first got into reenactment about two and a half years ago, uh, I went and purchased a whole bunch of swords, a whole bunch of them, probably about a dozen swords, uh, each of them costing around about two to three hundred dollars. Um, looking for a really good sword, I was educating people at the time around the, sort of the Roman period and into the Middle Ages, and I, I actually found I, I had bought some really good swords, particularly the Gladiuses and the Spathers, but um, I came to realise that a number of the swords that I had bought in this type of design were um, really not that great, and I came to really regret some of those purchases. So I spent probably a year looking around for a really good sword to purchase for uh, medieval uh, education and also reenactment. So I've been into reenacting for about two and a half years now, and um, as I say, I really struggle to find a really good sword. Uh, I love training with the sword, um, I do it quite often, and I, I really looked for, for something that was really good quality manufacturing and materials. I eventually came across this particular sword, and uh, let's go through some of this. It's made by a company called Fabri Amane, and I believe they're in Czechoslovakia. Um, this is a really good sword. Um, it doesn't cost a ton of money. Um, I'm going to leave a link in the description below. But what I found is, is this is just a really well-made sword. It's done using a lot of the older techniques, and there's a lot of options you can choose. So you can choose the blade style and width, you can choose your own cross guard from about a dozen or so options, you can choose the handle and also the pommel. So um, you can actually make quite a unique sword just by going through those different options there. Sword is sold primarily as a blunt sword, you can get them sharpened, um, but this is uh, approximately three millimeters thick which is fantastic for reenactment purposes. Um, we're not having a zombie apocalypse anytime soon that I'm aware of, so um, I really just needed something for, for reenactment training. The fuller is about three quarters of the length of the blade, and the point of balance is um, probably about 12 centimeters off the cross guard. There we go. All right. What I find really interesting about this sword is that it handles like a genuine 13th century arming sword. It, it's just very easy to use. Um, it's light in the hand, it's well balanced, and uh, I find that the weight is very realistic as well. So many swords I've had to buy online, uh, they're advertised as say 1.2, 1.4 kilograms, and they come out and you arrive and, and, and you, you find that they're actually 1.9 to 2.2 kilograms, which is ridiculous uh, for a one-handed sword. Um, I've got a right-sided shoulder injury, and that's something that I'm going to have to live with for the rest of my life, so I find it difficult to use um, heavier swords for very long. Um, all right, let's have a look. Total length is just over 90 centimeters, and the blade length is 73. Uh, the blade thickness here is approximately 50 mil, down to uh, 30 mil, which is really, really good. And the weight is just over one kilogram, which is fantastically, uh, it's very realistic for a medieval sword of this type. Uh, as I say, it's, it's just such a light and very easy to use sword. Um, I find it very, uh, very nice, very well constructed. I've had this in six really solid fights and there's barely a mark on, on the blade. Um, honestly, it's, it's taken the work really well very easy to look after you do need to look after steel and um, we live in a very humid conditions here in Australia so um, steel will rust and it does require a little bit of maintenance now and again but that's no big deal alrighty well thank you very much for watching uh, so I'm gonna give this sword a 10 out of 10 I really really like it thoroughly re uh, recommend it to everybody who's into medieval reenactment uh, this sort of sword goes from about the 10th century through to about the 14th century and 
uh, if you're a reenactor, I thoroughly recommend checking this sword out. I'll leave a link in the description below. As an example, I'll be buying another five swords from these guys over the next year. Uh, a scram sax, another one of these, probably uh, a sharpened one of these, just really uh, for doing cut tests on it and so on, um, and probably a couple of later medieval swords as well. Alrighty guys, um, please, uh, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. Please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.